Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about another very, very, very big number. That is the SCG 13. So the SCG stands for subcubic graph number. It is related to the famous tree sequence. It is a very, very fast growing function. However, such sequence cannot be infinite. So this guy over here, he proved that SCG13 is way bigger than even tree 3. So what exactly is a subcubic graph? Well, we can kind of treat it as a game of graph that involves vertices and edges. Um, we're not going to talk in detail about what exactly it is. Uh, we're just going to focus on how big is this SCG function. So let's look at some examples. So SCG 0 is equal to 6. So nothing too special here. 6 is not a big number. But then SCG 1, the output is a very, very, very big number. So it's very crazy. <laughs> we already don't know how big it is. So if you remember tree, the tree sequence is a very, very fast going sequence. But SCG, it's even crazier than the tree sequence. And then we have something called the simple subcubic graph numbers, also known as SSCG. So what is a simple graph? So simple graphs is something like um, there are no loops or there's no multiple edges. And this guy over here, he proves that SSCG and SCG actually have very similar growth rates. So they are, they grow around the same rate. So both of them grow much, much faster than tree three. And he also proves that SSCG and then 4N plus 3 is actually bigger than SCG N. So they, they, they have a very similar growth rate. Although um, SSCG is a, uh, a more simple form of uh, subcubic graph. And let's look at some examples of this simple subcubic graph numbers. So if you put zero here, then the result is 2. So we can see SSCG is smaller than the SCG function. And then if you put 1 here, well, the result is 5. So still not too big of a improvement. And then what if we put 2 in this SSCG? And this guy again, he proved that, he shows that if we put two here, the result is something very big. How big? It's around 10 to the power of 3.5775 times 10 to the power of 28. So it's around 10 to the 10 to the 28. It's a very big number, bigger than a Google. But uh, of course, it's uh, still, you know, compared to like 33, this is a very small number. But uh, it's a, still a very big number. And then here, so this is all you guys want to know, right? So this is the his conclusion here. So SSCG2, so this guy over here, of course, smaller than tree 3 it's also smaller than Graham's number or, or Googleplex. But then if we put 3 in this SSCG, then immediately it becomes bigger than tree 3 so it jumps from this guy to something bigger than tree 3. So it's a very, very fast going function. And also SCG 3 is of course bigger than SSCG 3. And of course SCG 13 is much, much, much bigger than SCG 3. So here we can already see that, you know, this guy and this guy, so we just put three in these functions, then the result is much, much bigger than tree three. And of course, SCG 13 is 
of course much much bigger than these guys over here and just how big is this guys so the only way to just give you an idea how big the sscg is is that even if you do something like this so three of three three of three so this guy here means Tree of tree of tree of tree of tree da 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 and there are three three number of trees over here so that means even if you do three three number of trees three functions this output is still much 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 smaller than the sscg3 so now can you imagine how big is the scg13 or just how big in general this sequence is so the SCG functions is one of the biggest uh, numbers function ever appear in serious mathematics and yet this sequence is finite whatever number you put in here is cannot be infinite so this just again shows you how big infinity is so even something as crazy as the scg is still nowhere near infinity and we already know that like 33 is already a very very crazy sequence much 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 bigger than Graham's number and Graham's number is always of course out of this universe like Graham's number is always already way bigger than anything we can describe in the universe but yet you know in math there's always something bigger or my mean much 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 bigger than something else and yet they are not infinity so infinity is way bigger than you think so thanks for watching and have a nice day